Hello to my Christchurch Glendale family. This is Father Nick again with another tech tutorial video. And today's will be on how to use Zoom conferencing, which seems to be our only way to meet together apart during our current pandemic issue. And will be the platform with which we are going to have our agape dinner for Maundy Thursday. And so at the request of some parishioners, I'd like to go through and show you how to download Zoom and how to join up for a meeting and then how to work inside the meeting once we get there so that everything can go smoothly for Thursday and any other programming that we want to carry out on Zoom in the future. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to zoom.us, which is Zoom's website, and go to resources up in the top right and click download Zoom client. Now this Zoom client for meetings is going to be what you want to download first. It will come up in whatever form works for the computer that you're on. So if you just hit download and then run the installer, you will be all good to go on that machine. Now there are also extensions for browsers, phone apps, if you'd like to use Zoom on either an Android or Apple smartphone, and various other advanced apps that most of you will probably not need. But the Zoom client for meetings is what's going to allow you to join in with anything we're doing. Now once that's installed, you will get this window, which will allow you to first create an account, which just needs an email and a password, and we'll have your name, and then we'll give you these four options, to schedule a meeting, to join a meeting, or to simply open one up. And for the sake of example, we're going to join a meeting. And in order to join a meeting, you have to put in the meeting ID and then password. So if we look at my little test meeting invitation here, which is what you will be emailed if you're invited to a meeting, at the bottom of the Maundy Thursday Agape invitation are these two little bits of data. The meeting ID, which is 953267234 in this instance, but will be different for every meeting you go to, and the password, which will be obviously different for every meeting you go to. Now, there is also a good bit of other information which can be helpful in certain circumstances in these. Now, Zoom is not limited to computers. It will allow you to call in on a normal landline or cell phone if you don't have a smartphone or a computer capable of running Zoom, you simply go down to these phone numbers here, call the one nearest to your physical location, which for us would probably be Chicago or New York, and once you call that number, it will ask you for your meeting ID and password, and all you will have to do is punch those in on your keypad, and it will connect you to the meeting just like anyone else. Obviously without video, but you will still be able to be in on the conversation. Each will also have a link that you can simply click on and it will do all the entering and everything for you if it's easier for you to join that way. But to join a meeting, you hit join, type in the meeting ID, and hit join. It will then come up with this screen. You will hit join with computer audio and then you will be admitted into the meeting. Now I can't do that at the moment because I'm using my camera to record this little tutorial but you will then come up rather than this slightly funny picture of me that someone sniped on our trip to England. But here are the buttons that will appear down at the bottom of your screen. Here will come join audio, and after you hit that, it will turn into a button that says mute, which will allow you to mute and unmute yourself throughout the meeting. 
You will want to stay muted if you're not speaking as background noise has a tendency to mess with Zoom. However, when you're muted, you can hold down spacebar like a talk button on a radio to speak. And when you let go, it will remute you again. There's also start video, which starts your video. You can then chat with everyone in the meeting, just like you would be Facebook messaging here if you have something to say or if your audio and things aren't working and you'd like to let me know, which can be very helpful. And last but not least, there is end meeting, which is how you get out and close out your meeting. Now, the rest of these buttons I have, but you don't, as I am the host of most meetings, and I can use them to try to help get everybody working and control everybody's mute and everything in the meeting if you're having trouble. So please feel free to reach out to me during via chat if you're having any problems or even text me or whatever you need to do to make that happen. Now those meeting invites will be sent out in this format via email for any meeting that you are scheduled to be a part of and you will simply need to look for that password and meeting ID to join. And once you're joined up, it will go perfectly smoothly. Now, anyone can host a meeting on Zoom. However, if you don't have a paid account, you are limited in the amount of attendees, and more importantly, you are limited to 40 minutes. So if you do not have someone with a paid account, which here is myself, Father David, and Penny Young for the Music Search Committee, you will need one of us to be a part of your meeting in order to have unlimited duration and up to 100 um, attendees. So if that is a problem for you, please contact one of us and we will be able to help you out. But those are the basics of Zoom. There is a lot more to this platform but I just want to give you what you need to join up for the meetings for Maundy Thursday, for any education classes, discussions that we have using this platform in the near future as we go on for kind of an undetermined amount of time in this particular format. And if you have any questions, you all know how to reach me. Please feel free to reach out. I hope this is a tool that allows us some connection and some seeing of other faces while we continue in our isolation. God bless.